the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, known also as the Triune of the Cross, is commemorated around the world in Catholic and Eastern Orthodox churches alike on 14th September every year. This feast originally celebrated two historical events. One, the discovery of the true cross by St. Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, and the dedication of the basilica built by Constantine at the site of Jesus' crucifixions. Legend has it that Helena had such deep love and reverence for Christ, she led a group to Jerusalem to the site of Jesus' crucifixion in search of the true cross on which he had been crucified. On Mount Calvary, Helena had the Temple of Venus demolished. As tradition held that the temple had been built over the tomb of Jesus, there, three crosses were discovered during the excavation. Legend has it that a dying woman was brought to touch the crosses. The one on which Jesus died was identified when his touch healed her. With the discovery of the true cross, Constantine had the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre built over the tomb and the basilica was dedicated in the year 335. Since then, the basilica has been destroyed and rebuilt several times. The church which now stands on the site was built by the Crusaders in the 12th century. And 14 September marks the anniversary of the basilica's dedication. Within the Church of the Holy Cross in Singapore, there is a relic of the cross on which Jesus was crucified, installed on the left of the altar for private worship throughout the year, and venerated during the Feast of the Holy Cross. In commemorating this feast, its meaning should not be tied to any single historical victory. This feast is a celebration of Jesus' salvific death on the cross and His resurrection, through which sin and death was defeated and resurrection assured. For Jesus has promised us, when I am lifted up from the earth, I shall draw all men to myself. From the height of the cross, His love shines forth. For a man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. The exhortation of the Holy Cross thus gives us, the disciples of Christ, the assurance that love is greater than pain. We are therefore empowered to renounce ourselves, take up our cross daily to follow Him. We do not have to look for crosses to carry. Our crosses are the daily sacrifices we make when we reach out to love and serve. Loving requires us to give of our time, our energy and money. Most of all, it demands us to put ourselves aside for the good of others. For when we are less self-preoccupied, we can feel more for others. In celebrating this feast, let us exalt the Holy Cross by our self-denial. Allow the sacrificing love of Jesus to empower us to sacrifice ourselves for the love of others. And as we behold the cross, let us pray as one church. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. 
and go. Lift the cross in our daily actions.